My name is Jenna Pallant, and I'm a style crazed full-time creative living in sunny San Diego. In 2016, my husband and I purchased our forever home, and now in between balancing my upholstery business, our four dogs, and just life in general, I'm going to renovate our home room by room, project by project myself, with some fun help from a few of my friends along the way. And I'm gonna share it all with you right here on YouTube. So, are you ready to see a room bloom? Hello color lovers and fellow ORC participants, and welcome to a brand new episode of Room Bloom on YouTube. Last week was the official kickoff of the Spring 2020 One Room Challenge. For those of you not familiar with the One Room Challenge, it's a bi-annual online design event where professional interior designers and guest participants design and renovate a room in either their own home or a client's home in a short six weeks time. Except this time, however, due to the silly COVID, the ORC is giving us two extra weeks. I'll take it. Last episode, I revealed to y'all that I was one, renovating the formal living room space for said challenge, and two, how I had prepped and painted its large wood windows, which now brings me to the next project on my ORC to-do list, or should I say dilemma? The formal living room's fireplace has always felt a bit off to me. It's original with the build of the house, in good shape, but just felt outdated in my eyes. I also would never pick that sort of beige marble for its base structure. But I also wasn't willing to replace it, thus I had a design dilemma on my hands. How do we keep the beige marble in the design while also incorporating the contemporary colors that we love? At first, I considered tile but didn't really like the idea of the marble competing with the tile. I also considered applying removable wallpaper to the marble, but then quickly realized, um, fire hazard anyone? Plus, it would have been an upkeep nightmare, especially with four doggies. But then I was scrolling through Instagram one day and discovered this Los Angeles muralist, Ruben Rojas. And that creative ADHD brain of mine, well, it got an idea. What if we transformed the top wood portion of the fireplace into a work of art? A work of art that would both incorporate the colors of the rainbow that we love and the blah colors of that beige marble. No offense, neutral peeps. So I reached out to Ruben with this colorful idea and luckily for us, he was game. But I had some work to do before Ruben could work his magic. First, refinishing the inside of the firebox, which as you can definitely tell, needed a little TLC. So I scrubbed the entire inside with a wire bristle brush, vacuumed up any leftover debris, and then cleaned the inside of the firebox with denatured alcohol, allowing it to dry for 24 hours before painting the inside completely black with Rust-Oleum's high heat spray paint. Then I needed to prep and paint the upper wood portion of the fireplace before Ruben's handiwork. Using a technique I have shared again and again here on Room Loom. First wiping down the entire wood surface with Crud Cutter's Deglosser, then priming it with Zinsser's oil-based cover stain primer that I also had tinted with black to give it this nice dark gray hue. And then last but not least, I applied paint, the exact same shade of black paint that's outside on our cinder block walls, completely covering the primed wood surface. Just in time for Ruben Rojas' arrival to San Diego, and that's when I got to sit back and enjoy the fruits of my labor. <sighs> Watching Ruben was truly inspiring. I absolutely loved learning how his handwriting has evolved over the years in his artwork and how he's starting to blow up in the Los Angeles area. Have you seen his Kobe Bryant mural yet? Did you know I actually used to manage an artist co-op before starting Homebird Upholstery? Yep, first, true story. And while I was in that role, I was inspired on the daily by the artist's creative spirit and believe that's what ultimately motivated me to take my hobby of upholstery and transform it into a full-time gig. Heck, maybe that's even why I include commission pieces in all my interior designs. Hmm, interesting thought. Either way, I had so much fun watching Ruben add unique creativity to our formal living room space. This is also a fantastic way for me to incorporate all of the colors in my design board for the One Room Challenge. All right, color lovers, who's ready to see our colorfully improved art installation of a fireplace? Ta 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 ta! I'm not gonna lie, y'all. <laughs> After Ruben left that Tuesday, I just sat there staring at the fireplace's new mural. It was like I had a hanger stuck in my mouth or something. 
I just freaking love it when a design idea turns out way better than I had originally imagined. Please join me back here next week for the one-of-a-kind coffee table I created for this one-room challenge space. It's gonna be groovy, baby, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a terrible Austin Powers impressionation. Stay tuned.